flash Ooh. peep show. Really? Mm -hmm. That's, uh... The stress isn't holding on me very well. Really? No, I think it's doing great. Thanks, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, it's doing fine. Congratulations on your Emmy nomination. Thank That's you fantastic. So much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Are you very excited? Are you going to... You, you know, it's kind of weird because it still hasn't hit me yet. I, I, it's, it's not that I don't feel deserving, but I don't feel deserving. Like, that's such a big... It's such a big deal, and I... No, so, you're, so what, this is fantastic, though, isn't it? I is couldn't it? be more excited. Yeah, yeah. Fair, are, are you going to have a party? I'm, the, I'm gonna... the youngest one in the category, so I feel like I shouldn't be in the have category. Have you got a speech ready or anything? No, God, that would just jinx everything. All right. So I'm what happens to you? What are you going to go up and say then? You, do, you can't think about it. Well, no, because I feel like if... If I th were to think, oh, what, you know, what am I going to say, then that means I must think I've already won. And I, God forbid, I don't think I already won. All right, but so it would be nice. Do you have, uh, <laughs> do, you, uh, do you have OCD, do you think? Do you think I have some kind of OCD? A little groups? bit. Yeah? A little really? ADD, ADHD. Yeah. Do you take the Ritalin? Everything. Do you enjoy the Ritalin? A lot of the kids it's enjoy great. Ritalin. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. No, I, I've... I, I'm the uh, overachiever, bouncing off walls girl who works, you know, workaholic girl. But uh, oh, where are you from? Where's your accent? North from? Carolina. North Carolina. I yes, love it there. Yes, and yeah. we. I just went home, you know, like a week ago, and and it came back really thick. And then yesterday we had our first table, two table reads uh, for Earl because we start back next Monday. Right. And I had to get my accent back, and everything just got. It's hard to get rid of it once you get it back. Yeah. Well, don't don't get rid of it then. No. I I swear by using an accent. <laughs> Yours is a little better than mine. No, it's not. It's just an accent. I don't. I don't hold with any of that. Where I come from, everybody speaks like this. It's not nothing good about it at all. <laughs> yeah, well, see, in North Carolina, you know, being raised there. Yeah, I moved here 14, 15 years ago, but. When I was living there, you know, you don't think, because everybody speaks that way, exactly. you don't think anything I, yeah, of it. Yeah. And then I moved out to California, and everybody was like, oh, she's not very smart. <laughs> really? Well, because they think the southern dialect is just, does, it's not a very intelligent dialect, I well, guess. Some of the smartest people in America were from the, Jimmy Carter was from the south, Martin Luther King was from the south. Thank so, yeah, Ellen. a lot of very smart people from the south. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm far, you know. Are I, you smart or not very smart? Uh, yeah, I... <laughs> The day, right? Okay. Or the topic, right? Okay. Do, I guess do, it's that way for everybody, isn't it? Uh, not them. They're they're pretty much a wrestling crowd. Yeah. <laughs> they're smart if it's WWF. Other than that, they don't know what you're talking about. We in the South we call that wrestling. Wrestling. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Wait, now, what part of North Carolina are you from? Uh, from from the coast, um, the coast, Eastern North Carolina. And your family are all still there? Everybody's still there except for my mother and my little sister and my stepfather. They live in California. They live in California. So you were back seeing all the rest of the family. What do they think of your success? Are they well, excited? Well, I, I got nominated on Thursday and then the very next day flew into North Carolina. So it was really exciting. It was nice to be able to go home and have that sense of normalcy around me and be with my family. And um, They're all so proud and, and excited. And You know, my brother is like my biggest fan. He's my older brother. And... Uh, I think the coolest thing was, um, you know, growing up, I always looked at him. He's nine and a half years older than me, and growing up, I always looked at him like, you know, he's my hero. Right. And, and he said to me while I was home, I want you to know the roles have reversed, and you're my, my hero now. That's so that a was, great thing. That, was that really is a great cool. thing. That... Jamie Presley! Really good. Thank you very like, much. Like really good. I really like this, and I love this. Great team. Hair, makeup, stylist. Well, yeah, great lighting. We could all look fabulous. <laughs> great lighting. Mm -hmm. Talk shows have the best lighting, especially for women, because it blows us out completely. So we look way more airbrushed than we really are. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me too. Yep. You, oh, sorry. You look great, though. I love this short cut. It's very, uh... Thank you. It's kind of like, mm-hmm. My, uh, my hairdresser, Jonathan Hanasek, uh, chopped it. He did a great job. It's actually his birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. Jonathan. Good. <laughs> That's good. It's always nice to start off wishing your hairdresser a happy birthday. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Helps us pull ahead of the other late-night shows. <laughs> 
<laughs> look, they make me look good. I wouldn't look like this without them, so well, you got to thank them. You look them. great. You obviously, you have a fitness regime as well, clearly. Yeah, well, trainer Mike Jones beats me. Oh, is gym. it his birthday, uh, Mike? No. no, it's his birthday on Sunday, oh, though. Oh, well, happy birthday, Mike. And uh, kale, you probably eat a lot of kale. Not a bit, no. No? Yeah, that, what, because it's a fad? I don't need to eat it because everybody said it's hot right now. Well, I'm sorry if I'm in show business. No, I don't eat it either. I don't care for it, actually. It just sounds to me like hipster cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? This is a snake. I have it because it's a kind of Freudian penis thing. Why? Oh, uh, I was born in the year of the snake. Were you? Really? Yeah. yeah. That would make you 23. That is a a correct. Good. Do you have a little one now? I do. My little boy uh, is going to actually be seven in May, Desi. Oh, oh, that's great. I'll be doing the show here in May at some point. Yeah. <laughs> that's lovely. Seven years old. That's, yes, and that's... you have two. I have two, yeah. One uh, who will be... A boy and a girl, right? No, two boys. Oh, you have two boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty, pretty sure. Okay. Uh... How old are they? Um, they're, they're getting up there. Like 12? 12. 12, one's a 12 and one's three. Okay. <laughs> I feel you're judging me there a little bit. I, what, 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 because I don't uh, have them often enough? Uh, no, like, there's going to be the same amount of space between Desi and whichever child I have when Well, yeah, I because yeah. you've got seven years, unless you've got one cooking right now. No. Okay, then. <laughs> we, we, are you going to go again, though, you think? You yes, more? definitely. Right, good. Absolutely. Yeah, good. I always wanted three, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I have to say, though, and you'll probably agree, Having an only child is very difficult because I don't want to play Legos every five seconds of the day. I don't want to play out... Actually, I would play outside. Yeah, yeah, playing outside is all right. That's the problem is they want to play inside. I don't do video games. Our generation didn't do video games. I didn't have any video games. I didn't either. I, I like that you put me in your generation, but let's be honest. I'm... High five. No, yeah, thank you. Uh... No, in my, my generation, we had... Uh, our video game was a, a hoop and... Uh... <laughs> No, but I mean, for instance, like, have you seen the, the movie This Is 40? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rem remember when she... <laughs> Rem well, there's, there's a part where the, the mom says to the daughter, why don't you guys build a fort? And she's like, and do what with it? <laughs> we would build a fort and play in it all day. Did you sit in it? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then come back the next day and do the same thing. Our kids want to stay. They're like, I, I played outside. It's been 15 minutes. It's hot. Um, and then they go back inside. Yeah, yeah. And then it's and they want to play video games. Well, you know what gets me though is when you're raising kids now and you have to be nice to them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Our Where parents that, were not as nice as we. Where did that we... start? No, first of all, it takes way more energy to be a parent now than it did when our parents were parents because yeah. they would say go outside and then come back when the, the lights come on. Yeah. Our kids, we can't say that because... It's tough in L.A. The it's tough, well, big <laughs> cities in general. But if I were back, you know, when we go back home to North Carolina every right. summer, I can say, go out and play, and he gladly does. But it's safe. It's a small town. It's a different thing. And they have the whole, you know, it takes a village well, to you... raise a child theory, so it's a philosophy. So everybody looks after everybody, and it's not like that in big towns. Well, if you, in L.A., you can do it a little differently. You know, what I do is if a 12-year-old, I say, look, there's a can of spray paint. Go ahead, do a little tag in, meet some friends. <laughs> Here's a little blue rag and a little red rag. Wear whatever one you have to wear. <laughs> Whichever one you need to fit in. Yeah, it will be all right. You guys just ooh me there? <laughs> Man. So that's good then. So you uh, you go back to North Carolina a lot. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. My, my nephew Justin's getting married soon. Um, so we're going to go back and Desi's very excited about it. Yeah. He loves North Carolina. If we could live there and I still do what I do, we would. But unfortunately, 3,000 miles across the country is a bit Yeah, much. no, you can't. You can't be making Haunted House 2. Ooh. Nice way to bring it back. Thank you. In, uh, in North... You haven't been here for ages. I just remembered that. Yeah, the last time I was here, I think, was for Earl. Years wow. ago. Yeah, that's... Because that's still going, though, right? No, I mean, it is. Thank... <laughs> Thankfully, it is residual wise. Oh, it's yeah, in there you go. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I actually, uh, when shooting Haunted House 2, I met the wonderful Missy Pyle, fell in love with her, and cast her as my best friend on my new show, Jennifer Falls, on oh. TV Land. It'll be out June 4th. That's great. On oh, TV Land? Yeah. Good. Guys. Have you done Haunted Cleveland? I actually, yes. 
Oh, you have done? Because that's your big show, Hot I in Cleveland. I did Hot in Cleveland, and uh, it was it aired a couple weeks ago. Um, and we actually, they're going to be our lead in. We're coming on. Jennifer Falls will be coming on right after Hot in Cleveland. That's what you want, because that's their Absolutely. big show. Hot, that's Betty White. and uh, Incredible you know, show. Betty yeah. and I just shot the campaign, as well as Cedric, who's also in Haunted House, too. Really? Yeah, so Haunted House. You guys are like the rat Cedric pack. Cedric and me, and then Missy Pyle. I mean, we've, we're all, yeah. Good. It's a good group. Yeah, it's a haunted like, house. You have to watch though. Cedric make. Uh, he now, will you makes be able to cry. follow it? Will you be able to follow it if you haven't seen Haunted House One? You can follow it absolutely. It's. <laughs> it's not brain surgery. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spoof. It's a spoof. It's movie. a spoof, and and Marlon Wayans is incredible in it, and and the rest of the cast as well. Um, but he and his partner, Rick Alvarez, wrote this really great script that Marlon refused to stick to once we got to set. Yeah. So, so it's, it's basically this really funny movie with tons of improv and incredible, incredible comedic actors. Um, I, I do have to tell you, though, like, you watch this movie and you will see why, I mean, uh, Cedric is the, one of the kings of comedy. Very, very funny man. Yeah, he's, he's got, Everything, just so you know, when you see it, Everything he did in that movie is completely off-the-cuff improv. Did he and wear he, his hat? Uh, in one scene. All right, he's got to wear his hat. <laughs> in one of the scenes he did. He's yeah. brilliant. Everybody in it is, and it was, it was a lot this of fun. This sounds like it's the Oscar contender for next year, this movie. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> you have to take a break. We'll be right back with Jimmy Preston. We're back. Okay. I'm back with Jamie Presley, everybody. It's, uh, we're, we're out of time. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, kind of. Really? Yeah, we talked for a long time. Yeah, but it was such a good convo, right? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, don't call it a convo around right. here. A convo. Can you do it? Do you want to play it Downton Abbey with me? Yeah, but you'd be the Scottish version. I could do it like this. I could talk to you this way. But well, I, I could talk to you like this way. Yeah, but well, you know what? I'm not really good at Scottish. It's not my thing. But do you know the Presleys are all f from Scotland, actually? I know. Really? Yes, I've met them. You met the Presleys, my entire family? Yes. That's strange. They used to, <laughs> they used to clean the chimneys at the manor. Oh, did they? <laughs> How lovely for you. Yeah, I know. Uh, are you in therapy at all, by the way? No, not, not at the moment. Oh, uh, well... You? I've got a pipe. Mm. We all have a pipe. <laughs> I suppose, in a way. Do you want an awkward pause, or you want to listen to Enya or something? Um, Enya's a little... It's a little off-putting for me at the moment. Right now, I'd like to talk about funny things. What would you guys like to talk about? <laughs> she, she, she's not really asking you, don't <laughs> Anyway, we're out. Let's just do a quick awkward pause. Just a quick one. Quick one? Yeah. Go. <laughs> oh, I see you went for the bra adjustment. <laughs> Very nice. It's the old go-to. Ah, the old go-to. Mm. Should we go back to Downton Abbey? <laughs> I think it might have been much more interesting for the audience. What do you think? I don't know, but I'm enjoying talking like this. Very I am much as enjoy. well. I really am as well. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Jamie Presley, everybody. <laughs> it's like Jay Leno is a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>